o bruni ni kansen de jo boy ko ku de se ke ki kun ya me you are watching what you mean on your for vlog i'm about to tell you what i meant on your dom ji ba se dom let's get it <laughs> uh the feeling the feeling i can't even talk about the feeling because i i don't even know what i felt during that that particular period of time because the feeling was very very good because at the end of the day it came from twitter and we all know twitter is a big app when people really like your stuff there you know it's a big thing that you're doing or it's a good content that you're bringing out so yeah i felt good about the whole situation the whole viral thing the hype and everything it was good yeah uh how I got on your dorm shout out to J Bad. We were in the studio as always we wake up one day. We were listening to beats from YouTube. Then we saw this particular uh beat, so we downloaded it and I went to sleep. So when I came back, J Bad have already recorded the chorus uh dorm and then back in the dorm he was like, Bro, you need to give me a verse and it's like of course, why not? So yeah, that's how my verse came about. I was like, hey, demon. <laughs> uh, it was hard because at the end of the day, we were talking about the, uh, how united we are and how loyal the whole team is. And really talk about something like from Ashanti culture. So I, felt, I felt the whole vibe. I felt the whole chorus. And it really, really touched me. So yeah, that came about. With the verses that I give up. Uh, I think the first four lines was just out of nowhere. I didn't, I didn't write it down. Was just when, when I, when I, when I hear the chorus, or oh, I remember feeling that that doing that. I was saying at Coco I was like, "Be Coco Bean, Coco Bad." That's how I started it. So the first one line was like something like a seashell. So I just remember craving you, you are a friend of mine. If you cook or bang for your bad thing, so flesh up. I'll come and say, in the next cookie bar, I just said, we can let that my house so born in your chest. So something like, uh, what goes around in the street, like the kind of things I've been through, the kind of things my friends have been through, the kind of things I've witnessed people being through. That came about how. I wrote the whole verse because it was like, it was more like uh, real life events. Yes, real life events. That's how I, yeah, it was real life events. Uh, yeah, because most of, most of the audience that really, really felt in love with my sound or my song, uh, I think most of them, like 30% of them, they, they, uh, yeah, don't verse, but them, yeah, the, the, the verse on yeah, don't make them it's funny. Yeah, yeah hardest. I wouldn't say it's, it's the hardest of all because me personally, I have my favorites, and this is yeah, don't verse is one of the hardest and the, one of the most popular verse I ever made because my verse on Monafiki, Chico Goes Monafiki, was hard. My verse on Bad Bang's uh, chant was also hard. My verse on Sammy Black is also hard. And a, a couple of verses that I made. So I think Yedom yeah, is one of one of them. But Yedom yeah, is like, it's for the books. Like, if I think say we should treat it as a treasure and put it in a museum or something. You know? Yeah. Uh, I'll come yeah. So I was trying to like tell you to be vigilant when you are there because there are a lot of negative things happening. So you do you wouldn't want to get yourself caught up in the midst of someone's negative energy or negative situations that they are on. So if say you don't have you are not brave enough like our comments i mean the chief you know brave enough you shouldn't follow me because at the end of the day i do some things that at the end of the day will make us run so you should, if you are not brave enough you shouldn't follow me our comments i mean the chief you know what this the youth of course 
comments have been making Tiba Majis and Nikane Daya Hawa on any of Charles. So, actually, you every day we sag in the jeans or the pants or whatever you're wearing. So, I still warn you, Victor, like, we climb the wall and just escape from the cups. So, yeah, I was trying to tell the trappers or my people out there to just be vigilant because a lot of things happening. Yeah. So, me back with the few people in the choir yes what i meant was uh like when we come outside about one thing i kill us the killers out there i want to do phones you know like those people we do bonnet access and that with us we are our people so we are not going to get touched wherever we are so it doesn't matter if you know north east west or south we always got the street covered with people watching our back for us because at every day we also watch their back for them so yeah that's how it goes and money treats me say okay actually and the girls treat me special yeah because they are treat them special as well because in south corner and saba if you know what i mean because i'm a darling boy yeah uh since we on the other side where i'm from it thinks the police always have their ways of yeah, doing things and we don't really really understand the whole process so sometimes we try to swing or dodge some process to go too far or better because maybe i hear when you elite that we are already late to where we're going so we didn't want the police to also come in question us where are you going this your lancing blah blah so we just take the shortcut where we didn't meet any police so that we go we catch daily flights, you understand? Yeah, I think you understand. Yeah, it's all your top test, yeah. Do. Yeah. Uh again, not saying in ten years bad, say what point in the Yeah. So the girl I'm with, so the girl is sitting next to me is one of the baddest because we have tattoos, she have pierces. I born in Nietzsche, like she have pierces. Yeah, here. Yeah. And yet she, so yes, she's bad. Yeah, you, you, yeah, she's bad, very well bad. Three, two, one, ba. Yo, this is your boy Kukubi MCAK King Konya Me. You are watching what you mean on Wave Vlog. Let's get it. Oh, Brunini Karindo, can you stop it?